Hey everybody, this is Bob, the guy that does all the free trip videos. I wanted to show you something that I have as an opportunity for you because as a pre-trip instructor I found several students that were struggling in different areas of performing the task of performing a pre-trip for the CDL test and as a result what I've done was put together some documentation along with these videos that I handed out to those students that were in the school and I have these now available to you for the sum of two bucks each. I've, I've minimized the price just to make it affordable to you because I know a lot of people are struggling as they're trying to get their CDL and get out there and start making money as a truck driver. So what I've done was I'm going to give you an example of everything that I've put together so far. This right here is a step-by-step -step document, text document for performing pre-trip. And when you're going through the schooling, you're going to be taught how to say it, you know, Whatever the component is you're pointing at is properly mounted, secure, not cracked, bent, broken, or damaged. You know, all the hoses, no, there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, dry rot, and frays. All that is incorporated into this document, and it goes from front to back, including the end cab and the air brake test. Okay, so that's the document. I also have a pictures file, and the pictures file shows every single component on the truck that goes all the way from the front bumper to the back DOT bumper and everything in between. And every component has a description with an arrow pointing at the description. Whether you're talking about the water pump, on and on and on, all the way through the entire truck. Okay, so every single component I've got pictures of on the truck. So if, if visual learning is your ticket, this might help, okay? I also have the air brake test. The air brake test is broken down into a step-by-step -step kind of a pictorial thing that describes every single step of the air brake test going all the way through the four steps. And again, this has been a lifesaver for a lot of people that I've been working with going through the CDL program. I also put together some documentation for the backing maneuvers. Even though the videos only show pre-trip, what I've done was I put together a straight line. I've got offset left and offset right. I've got blind side and sight side parallel. And most importantly, the one that students seem to struggle with the most is alley dock. Alley dock to me is one of the easiest, but again, a lot of the people struggle with that. And even though you're getting hands-on training while you're going through the schooling system, this document will show you my tricks in being able to perform the, um, the maneuver. I've got a couple other documents on there, but one more document that I threw on there is the logs. If and when you're... Qualcomm or your tablet or whatever you want to call it, your online your computer that's in your truck craps out, you got to resort to paper logs, right? If you haven't learned that yet, you will when you're going through schooling. You have to have logs in order to stay in compliance with the FMCSA folks, the DOT guys. So if you're struggling at all with trying to grasp the uh, process of manual log entries and also recap. I threw in my way of doing a recap. So that documents right here. And it's pretty detailed as far as how I do recap. It's real easy really in the end when you get to it. But this document shows it all. Again, I'm selling each one of these documents for two bucks each. I'll leave it at that. And if you're interested, all you have to do is shoot me an email, tell me what you want, send the funds, the two bucks or how you know ten bucks for the package or whatever, and send it to either my PayPal account or my Venmo account. And again, I'll have those listed at the end of each video. I bid you well. Good luck in your CDL test. And if you need any of these documents, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. This is Section A. Pretty much the engine compartments. Section A starts with what you call the approach. I'm walking up to the truck. 
I'm looking underneath the engine to make sure it's free of any leaks or puddles. My clearance lights are amber in color and clean. They're properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. My headlights and my high beams are clear in color and clean. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. My marker signal flasher and my reflector are both amber in color and clean. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. All my hoses are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or frays, and they're not leaking. My hose clamps are all properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. My alternator is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. My alternator is belt driven. My belt is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or frays. And when pulling on it, I had no more than three quarters of an inch of play in the belt. My two electric cables are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or frays. There's no illegal tape. There's no splices. And the insulation is not brittle or cracked. All right, my coolant fluid reservoir is properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. It's between the minimum and the maximum level of fluid. It's not leaking. Caps on tight. All my hoses are properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or freeze, and they're not leaking. My hose clamps are all properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. My water pump is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware, and it's not leaking. My water pump is belt driven. My belt is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or frays, and when pulling on it, I had no more than three quarters of an inch of play in the belt. My dipstick is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. I pull it out, wipe it off, stick it back in, pull it back out to make sure it's between the minimum and the maximum level of fluid. My power steering fluid reservoir is properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. It's between the minimum and the maximum level of fluid. It's not leaking. Caps on tight. My power steering fluid hoses are all properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or frays, and they're not leaking. My power steering hose clamps are all properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. Down behind the frame of my engine, I have a power steering pump and an air compressor. They're both gear driven and they're both not leaking. They're both properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. My power steering gearbox is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware, and it's not leaking. My pit and arm. Wait for the plane. 
This one you're going to have to get in on. My pitman arm, my drag link, my upper control arm, my lower control arm, my tie rod, all three castle nuts, and all three cotter pins are all properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware. My front and my back spring mounts are properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware. And there's no signs that they shifted. My two U bolts are properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no signs of rub marks, and there's no shiny threads on the end of the bolts that would indicate cross thread or looseness. My shock absorber is properly mounted and secured, not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware, and it's not leaking. My brake hose is properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot or frays, and it's not leaking. My brake chamber and C clamp are both properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware, and they're not leaking. My slack adjuster and my push rod are both properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken not missing any hardware. And with the brakes released, I can't pull more than one inch of slack. My brake drum and my brake lining are both properly mounted and secured. Not crack bent or broken, not missing any hardware. My brake drum has no illegal welds or holes. My brake lining is not worn dangerously thin, no less than a quarter inch of lining. My brake drum and brake lining area is free of any oil, grease, or debris. My tire is evenly worn. There's no less than four thirty seconds of an inch of tread in the tread grooves. There's no abrasions, bubbles, cuts, dry rot, or frays. I'm going to take a tire gauge and I'm going to hook it up to my valve stem to verify that the PSI level in my tire meets the manufactured rating. My valve stem itself is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware, and it's not leaking. My tire is properly seated to my rim. There's no rust trails that would indicate looseness or loss of air. My rim is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no illegal welds or holes. My lug nuts are all properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware. There's no rust trails that would indicate looseness. There's no shiny threads on the end of the bolts that would indicate cross -threading. My hub oil seal is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any hardware, and it's not leaking. I would check to make sure it's